Cool. And we've had another question come in. Should you send demos to venues? Physical, physical demos like CDs. A lot, a lot of people in their laptops don't have CDs. People don't have CD players. You're more likely to set, find every venue or pub or anywhere will have an email. You're probably much better sending it a demo online through that way with your press kit, which we talked about, than a CD that's burned. The only difference is, is say you have an album coming out and you've got nice artwork, nice, everything's nice or something interesting and different, maybe then you want to send it to select people, but it, it would be cheaper and probably more effective by sending, sending online by email. And the other thing I'd like to say as well, actually, one of the worst things you can do is to spam promoters. If you're sending stuff constantly, it actually has a negative effect. Um, just, just, just about everyone will know will listen to your music. They're not gonna um, get given a demo and an email and not listen to it, especially if it's a music promoter. Um, and you know, you might find in a few months they've got a gig that you would be perfect for and put you on. Have patience. Just you know. A, a maybe just like a reminder every couple of months or if you've got something new but, but no constant spamming I've, I've had people message me almost two three times a week for weeks on end and it, it just doesn't work you know um that's yeah the, the only thing i'd add to that is know who you're contacting and i, I don't mean on a personal level but if you're if you're in a techno band and you're emailing a metal venue don't, don't just don't just look up a list of venues and email them all look up venues that are likely to play your kind of music and are likely to respond to you because otherwise yeah you are just spamming and i think i think word would get around that you're just sort of throwing in the dark without having actually done any research 